afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us uh, for the Operations and Platform Engineering Spotlight session. Are you ready to have some fun? Yeah. Yes. I'm Ken Goldberg, and I'm the VP and GM of Containers and Kubernetes, and I'm super excited to be here today. We're going to dive into a range of topics from building AI applications and platform to equipping engineers with AI tools. Plus, we will share with you how you can optimize security and cost control across your environments, both AI and traditional workloads. But before I start, I want to take a moment to celebrate a major milestone for Kubernetes. This year marks the 10th anniversary of the very first commit to the open source project. And I guess this screenshot that you're going to see here is probably the first photograph of Kubernetes. Pretty photogenic, I think. The evolution of Kubernetes has been nothing but extraordinary. And now we are supporting the explosive world of AI. Uh, and this is where really the new fun begins. AI is yet another modern workload. And the investments we have made in containers and developer experience benefit them as well. So you're probably asking, so where does AI fit? When new technologies are introduced, it requires a new platform. Take the move from physical to virtual machines, then from VMs to containers. However, similar to Kubernetes, North Star, our container management platform design principle has always been to support all of you, our builders, our developers, today and in the future. We can now support AI applications being another modern workload on the platform along other modern workloads. And this is why this time you don't need to spin off a big migration or integration project. With our container management platform, you can accelerate your AI journey without reinventing the wheel and building a new platform. Our container management platform includes both GKE and Cloud Run. It is built from the ground up with flexibility, optionality, security, and cost optimizations. This way, the needs of every company, from the AI unicorn to the traditional enterprise, are met. Where you are dictates where you start, but no choice is a one-way door. Sometimes, especially when you're just at the beginning, you prefer to optimize to time to, build, time to building the application and not worrying about the infrastructure. So if you're looking for the easiest way to build applications, point your developers to Cloud Run for optimized productivity. And you wouldn't believe it. Today, we are making things even easier. I'm excited to announce Cloud Run Application Canvas, a Gemini-assisted experience to generate, modify, and deploy Cloud Run applications. Simply describe what you want to build in natural language, and the application will be generated for you. The Canvas also builds out integration to various Google Cloud services, including Firebase hosting, Vertex AI, Memory Store, and more. And it's really saving you time and effort. Uh, so we would like to keep things real. Let's invite Bobby from our product team for the first demo and see how easy it is. Woo! Hello, everybody. Thank you all for being here today. So, Hen, if I was following backstage, I think you talked about containers, serverless, and AI so far. And I think it's about time to do a demo that combines all three of those things. What do you all think? Woo! Excellent, excellent. Love the enthusiasm. So the application canvas gives you a visual way to create an application in two different ways. One, you can use natural language to describe what you want, and behind the scenes, that intent is translated into potential architecture by Gemini. So we might say something like this, for example. I want a Gen AI application with a SQL database deployed behind example.com. And so Gemini is going to take this intent and turn this into the building blocks to build a real-world application that looks something like this. So my application components are launched because Gemini took what I wanted to do and just built it. 
And so the thing that's cool about the application canvas is when I hit this button, it automatically does an audit of all the APIs that need to be enabled and all the role permissions that need to be granted. I literally have Gemini looking over my shoulder to see all the things that need to work together to just make it work. It's pretty cool, right? So let's speed ahead to the finished deployed application architecture. So these checkboxes tell me that all of these components are actually live and working. And to prove it, we're going to bring up a working application that we deployed to our Cloud Run service. So we built a simple Python application kind of offline. And what we're going to do now is bring up the front end for that. It looks something like this. So we built an application in Cloud Run, deployed it to Cloud Run. It's going to talk to Gemini. And what we're going to do is bring up pictures of some of the creative folks who've pushed us in the past to achieve more in the future. And so one of my personal favorites is Katherine Johnson. And so what's going to happen is when I click on this picture, it's going to send that image to Gemini. And those who don't know that Katherine Johnson is one of the famous NASA scientists from the movie Hidden Figures, Gemini will tell us who this is. And so with tools a lot less sophisticated than what we have today, she was part of the team of women at NASA that took a man to the moon and brought him back safely. And so the cool thing about this is with Cloud Run Application Canvas, we can build things like this, push our code, and keep pushing the boundaries that was possible. So as we go back to the Application Canvas one last time, I want you to think about the Application Canvas as another tool in your tool belt when you want to channel your inner Dr. Katherine Johnson, your inner innovator, and make what we thought was impossible tomorrow a reality today. That's cool, Bobby. Thank you so much. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. This is probably one of my favorite things uh, we announced this week. Uh, so especially you know, when you want to move fast and you don't want to worry about, worry about anything, Cloud Run is the right choice. Today, we are also announcing Cloud Run support for LangChain, which is a powerful open source framework for building an application. Now, if you're looking for more control and flexibility, GKE got you covered. GKE is fully manageable, but highly customizable. It is, has both the flexibility you need to make Kubernetes your own, and to build your platform on ours. And you have everything that you need to make it enterprise ready with the built-in control, Google-grade automation, and reliability. It is also available on Google Cloud, other clouds, or on-premises through Google Distributed Cloud. We have put years of our insights and sweat and best practices into Kubernetes and GKE. And their fundamental capabilities make them best suited for AI workloads. Kubernetes really fuels innovation with its extensive ecosystem of tools, while seamless infrastructure abstraction lets teams harness the latest technologies like GPUs, time sharing, and TPUs for maximum efficiency. Today, I'm excited to announce GKE support for Cloud TPU v5P is now GA. Cloud TPU v5P is our most powerful and scalable TPU accelerator to date. With TPU v5P, you can train your LLMs in weeks instead of months with a 2.8 times improvement in training time over the previous version. While GPUs and TPUs are great for scale, as AI models grow, customers face challenges such as cost effectiveness and start times of massive container images. To help address both of these issues, GKE now supports custom container image preloading and model preloading. Container image preloading helps Vertex AI prediction service, which is built on GKE, pull large container images up to 29 times faster than their previous method. And yes, you heard me right. We at Google, we like to drink our own champagne, and GKE powers AI products like Vertex AI and the next generation of AI innovation with DeepMind. So when you run and scale AI workloads, GKE makes obtaining GPU for AI training workloads easy by using dynamic workload scheduler. Together with an open source project called Q, which is a Q with a K, you can automatically request resources that are optimal for your jobs. This makes sure you can take advantage of available TPU and GPU capacity. It's not surprising that thanks to all of this in innovation over the last year, 
the use of GPUs and TPUs on GKE has grown more than 900% last year. I really hope my excitement comes through. Uh, it's not every day there is such an amazing transformation happening in our industry, and we can all contribute to, to that success. And you know, with new capabilities come new possibilities. We are honored to partner with all of you on this journey, and we can't wait to see what we can build together. Thank you so much for joining me.